Hey everybody, Eli here, and welcome to the first tutorial on KRPC for Kerbal Space Program. In this tutorial, we are going to go over how to get your coding environment uh, all set up, so hopefully in the next video I can teach you how to um, make this basic launch to orbit script. Anyway, so the first thing that we are going to want to do is to actually download the KRPC mod. For this, I use CCAN um, right here, and I will have a link to download it from, I believe, the GitHub page in the description. But all you have to do is type in uh, KRPC, and it should pop right up, just click that box and uh, click apply changes and then it will just go ahead and download it. Now another thing to take into account is that we need to make sure that we have the uh, correct version of Kerbal Space Program as KRPC is not supported in the latest version of Kerbal Space Program. So what we'll actually need to do is uh, downgrade our version of Kerbal Space Program by going to Steam and finding it here, clicking Properties, then going to the Betas tab, and then using this uh, drop down right here. It's not working right now, but you can. Let's see if I close this window. So if we go here, yeah, now it's working. Uh, we can go and select the version of Kerbal Space Program that we want to use. So if we go here, we can see the max version of KSP is 1.5.1. So we can just go here and click on that. And then it will go in, I update it, or I guess downgrade it in this, uh, downgrade it in this case. So then the next thing we're going to do is actually install Visual Studio as that is um, what I will be teaching you guys how to use it in as it is my preferred programming, I guess, uh, uh, IDE of choice. Now you can use whatever you want, but this is the one I'm going to be using, so I'll teach you how to set that up. So I'm going to want to go here to the... Uh, Visual Studio page on Microsoft.com and I'll have a link to this in the description also. You'll just want to go here to Visual Studio IDE and click on Community as that is the free version. Then once you go through the download pro uh, process, what you're going to want to do and if what you're going to want to do is go to File, New Project, and then console app, uh, a .NET console app that is Visual C, as that is the language that we're going to be using. Now, uh, KRPC actually supports a lot of different languages, such as uh, this, all of these right here, but we're going to be using C Sharp as it's a pretty e pretty easy language and one that I'm familiar with. So just name it like KRPC test or whatever you want. Click create. All right, now that we have Visual Studio installed, we can start writing some code to connect to KRPC. Now the way this works is uh, KRPC, the mod, sets up a server within the Kerbal Space Program game that we can then access from an external command line program or however else you want to do it. Um, to do this, we're going to need to install some NuGet packages and then we can use this code to just connect and then write a line that we have connected. So to do that, we're going to go to Manage NuGet 
um, NuGet packages. And as you can see, I've installed a KRPC client and Google Protobuf, which are the two libraries that we're going to need to install them. I just go to browse and just type their names in. And they should show right up like the KRPC client or Google Protobuf. Now, when you try to install KRPC, it should prompt you to also install Google Protobuf. And make sure it's always up to date or else you will get an error. Now that we've done that, we can go right to here um, and type in all of these lines, which just allow us to code and use the uh, libraries we just downloaded. First, we set up a connection with the name KRPC test. Uh, that name we put in here doesn't really matter. It will just be what we see over here when we finally run the program. Uh, then this is just another line of code, setting up other stuff that we can use later. Then we write a line connected, and this will just write out a line in the console that will tell us when we've done things right and that no error has been thrown over here. And then this line right here, console.readkey, just make sure the console doesn't close before we get a chance to see it. Because if we didn't have it here, let me just comment that out for a second, all we would get is this brief flash of connected and Oh, it didn't close. That's interesting. Anyway, usually the console would close. Just take my word for it. Um, and then we can just press this key to close it. Let's, let's test that again. So connected, then, huh, it's not working. Anyway, uh, if you're having a problem where it's closing without you wanting it, uh, just, just put console.read key there. Trust me, it, it's, a, it's a thing. So that should be all for this tutorial. Um, I'll see you in the next one where we hopefully will launch this rocket into orbit.